Welcome back to the basement yard. Me and Danny hanging out today. How you doing, man? What's on your finger? Oh, it's just a, a hair tie. Why? So, sometimes I wear them because my hair is getting long on top. So sometimes I put it in a little, just tie it up a little bit so it's not all on my forehead. Why don't we? Uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until. Fan that out. I'm gonna wait until this grows in a little more. Let's, uh, let's see your head. Next week. Next let's, week. Let's see your hair. Next week. Let's see I'll it. give a sneak peek. Oh, I'll, I'll sneak me. I'll sneak peek it. I'll okay. sneak peek it. Okay. Yeah. Danny has highlights in his hair. Oh, yeah. But I'm waiting for the sides to grow in so it's like a little more even. Okay. And then I'm going to do something else with the sides. Wait, what? Yeah, it's a mystery. You'll find out. Are you going to put a design in your head? Just might. You're going to put a... You, what do you put in your head? Can't tell you. You're putting a design in your head? Just might. What is this? 1998? I'm, you gonna I'm get, bringing it back. What's the, the, the puka necklaces or whatever? Oh, no. I can't do that. I, I, used to, I used to think those were fucking cool as shit. I always thought like... I always wonder if they were a real shark tooth. Oh, my God. Remember yeah. those? Are they? I don't know. They always look too small to be a shark's tooth. Maybe it's a small shark. Could be. Could be. That would be easier to get that tooth. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, I, I think... What what era do you think had the best style, like documented? Eighties, like the flap the flappers. What are they called? Like the when the bitches had like feathers in their heads, <laughs> and like everyone was like, "Yeah, no, I can't, Johnny." Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. They'd smoke very long cigarettes. And like so, and there's like a, a like a what is that wooden thing? That the holder, use? cigarette yeah, holder. Yeah. Why is it so long? I don't know. It's dangerous. It's uh, a yeah. it's a hazard. And um, they used to have like someone have to step on their back and pull their corset. Yes, Just yes, like yes. Tighten it. Yeah, yeah. That, I they, think they that couldn't was, breathe. I think that was the twenties. Yeah, maybe. No, uh, I liked it when women started to become like sexy. No, no, no. When they started to because they've always been sexy. What's the word I'm looking for? Like we used to treat them terribly and like beat them up and shit, right? Yeah. I'm talking about when the when the tides turned. Yeah. And then women were like, you know what I'm saying? Like they're we, like, nah, fuck you guys. You we're know? Start and dumping these titties. Being, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah. started being like. Sexy uh, mistresses. It was, I guess that's the sixties. Uh, that's definitely wrong. I think. No, I think that was like we're gonna free some titties. I'm not saying free titties. I'm saying when they were like, you know, we're they, gonna wear whatever we want. No, they could they could like be di not disrespectful, but they could be dismissive to men and like they wouldn't get beat up for it. Right. And I'm not trying to be funny when I say that. No, like, no, I, really I know, that. I know. I'm smiling because it's it's just. It is awful. a ridiculous it's, sentence. It, it, but, like, <laughs> you know. It's a ridiculous sentence, but when they were just like, no, nah, no, nah, Johnny, I'm not dancing with you at the Blue Monkey. Yeah. You know, like that era was kind of hot. Or you I could think. just, like, not like the era where you could just drag a woman anywhere. Yeah, that was yeah, that yeah. was out of control. That was insane. Yeah, that's really crazy. Do you know there were some rules put in place in the United States where in certain states you could only beat your wife once a week? They had a law. Shut at up. The, at, at you, there was a maximum at how many times you could do it. And let's just say, right? This is how ridiculous this country is, okay? There is, re there, I mean, not anymore, obviously, but there were real laws put in place in certain parts of the country where it was like a maximum on the amount of days you could beat your wife. That's crazy. And I know that because I used to do those videos where it was like the most ridiculous laws in the United States. And those, those were so prevalent. So there, like, was, there was a beating quota? Not a quota that you have to hit. <laughs> But you definitely can't surpass it. Yeah, I didn't even. <laughs> no fun intended. Yeah, no fun intended. You had to hit. But it was cr it, how crazy is that? I feel like they also used to smack women more in movies. The, yeah. They're like ah, shut up. Yeah. And like smack them around. Like yeah. Humphrey Bogart was smacking bitches. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Which is insane. It's like yeah, we this... have a piece of clothing that we call a wife beater because people used to beat their wives in it. Yeah. Are we and we just like we just let it go. Do you guys sell say, life beaters here? Yeah, and they're like, no, yeah, we, I know exactly what you mean. Yes. Oh, you mean the piece of clothing that men used to wear when they beat the shit of their wives when they come home because they're, she overcooked the steak? God. What is this, Mary? It's bullshit. Knock it off the table. Scary times. Scary times. Yeah, I mean, you know. You can't do that shit anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean it that <laughs> way. <laughs> you sounded disappointed. No, no, like, no. <laughs> you're like playing with you like, can't do that shit anymore. Good old days. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> But it's like to to even fathom that that was like people used to think c cigarettes were healthy for them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like there was an era where everybody smoked cigarettes. Yeah, dude, they were smoking on planes. That's insane. I, literally, I just I, I I was in Miami not too long ago, and on the plane ride back, I was just like thinking. I said to one of my friends, "I'm like, yo, imagine someone was just like just absolutely crushing cigs right now." Other thing too is they used to like at box old boxing events. There's two athletes there fighting, 
and the whole place is full of cigar smoke. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. When did that stop happening? Can't you smoke in clubs in Miami? Were you in Miami? Were you in any clubs in Miami? A lot of them are like half indoor, outdoor places. So you could just kind of like smoke wherever. Well, not really. Like I didn't see anyone smoking inside. Oh, I thought that you could smoke inside clubs in Miami. Oh, I don't think so. I mean, they have like cigar shops and shit. Yeah, a lot of places have cigar no, shops. No, but I'm saying, yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, You smoking. mean cigar clubs? Well, not clubs. They're, they have clubs, like cigar clubs. Yeah. Dude, cigar lounges or clubs or whatever the fuck, whatever, the I, building. I, yeah. They're, it's so intense. Would, I, you, would you go to one? Have you I've ever been? I've been to like numerous. Are they cool or are they just like... I mean, it's not a club where it's like, you guys got bottles, so what do you need? You need a fucking Rocky Patel 1993? Right. It's like, I'm good, you know? But... Uh, what the hell is Rocky Patel? It's a it's a cigar. Oh, I think was that the name of it? I think Rocky Patels. Yeah, Listen, um, Rocky Patel used to be like a kid in my class. No, is, are they Rocky Patels? I don't want to get that wrong now. <laughs> not that there's any fucking like cigar connoisseurs. Like, dude, I'm, it's actually not that. Honestly, there probably is. Yeah, yeah, vintage. 1990 is the year. Those are good though. I've smoked those like a lot, but those are good. Those are the only ones I know. So where do you go? You, do they give you like a smoking jacket? No, <laughs> a jacket. Yeah, like one of those like Hugh Hefner jackets. Oh my god, I wish I'd go like right now. They have like upscale cigar lounges. But yo, you can't city. breathe in there. I actually went to one in Connecticut. Not even vents. Ew. There was no vents. It was like you walked in, you're like, all right, and you can't fucking see. Yeah, I'm good. I'm it, good. It just smells like eight hundred thousand cigars. Was it like? Did- Connecticut was it like at Foxwoods like the casino no it was like a very hole in the wall place it was like in the middle of the woods like where Frankie's summer house is oh okay yeah so we just went there to pick up some cigars and then when we walked in they were like yo you guys must stay and like smoke a cigar I'm like I, I'm gonna die in this place yeah, if fuck. we don't leave <laughs> yeah, in the I next 10 minutes know. have you ever been to that Foxwoods casino in Connecticut no. we should go one day eh. would you go I would, I'd, I'd be afraid to lose too much money I'm afraid to be with you yeah it's true in a Casino. Yeah. Nah, just sports gambling. I'm a pussy. Well, that's not true. Sports gambling, I'm not a pussy. Real gambling, I'm a pussy. See, I'm reversed. Sports gambling, I'm a pussy. I'll do like $30, $40 bets. Real gambling, though, like roulette, like I usually let like all of my money ride at least once on the roulette table, like yeah. on a color. Got to like, do it. Got to whatever do it. money I have, like I could have a really good day and be like, oh my God, I'm up like 3 k and then just be like, I'm putting this on red. <laughs> Fuck it, let it ride. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like, you know, it, I mean, if you have the means to do it, I guess. Like, it, like if you're up, like, in the casino, like, fuck it. Like, that money's, like, it's not real until I leave the casino. See, I feel so differently. Like, you're like, it is real. Like, it belongs yeah, like, to me. Yeah, like, boss has said the same thing. Well, he'll be gambling, and he'll have, like, a bunch of chips. And, and he'll be like, these don't have any monetary value. And I'm like, if you would walk 15 <laughs> fucking feet to the cashier, they do. What do you mean? Yes, yes. Very you know, true. and he's like, "No, nah, man, these this is nothing." I'm like, yeah. "Dude, just walk right there. Get she will give bucks. you cash. Yeah, she'll give you money. She'll give you a voucher." But no, we should go one time, one time to a casino. Yeah. Why would we go to Foxwoods? Let's go somewhere like nice. Let's go to like fucking Vegas. <laughs> I'll never make it back from Vegas. I'll be. Wa- I'll have to walk home. No, you'll be all right. You don't drink, which is it, it, great. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I would love to not drink in Vegas. Actually, like, be, like, a smart gambler? Not even. Just, like, I, for whatever reason, I can't control myself in that place. And it's not even about the uh Is it just, like, is it just like the, the atmosphere that it's, makes you just, like, lose all inhibitions? It's the, it is the atmosphere. And it's really not me being like, oh, dude, I just fucking party and slug fucking tequila. Yeah. It's not even like that. It's just that it's everywhere. It's easier to get alcohol than it is a bottle of water. Wow. Like in those places Because you have to go to the restaurants Then they'll give you water Like whatever But it's like There's not like Delis Around Like there are Like little shops or whatever But everything is like If you're on the floor Gambling Which the entire fucking strip Is a, basically one big casino How long is the strip? It's long I've walked It's probably a couple Like a couple miles couple, And then right outside It's just like desert Yeah like nothing Even when you're coming Well there's a city But it's not even that big Like when you're coming over In a plane Yeah And you get to Vegas You're like Oh, because you could see the uh, the fucking the pyramid, yeah, with the Luxor, yeah, 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 and there's like a the Ferris wheel that you see, and you're like, okay, that's the area. Then you see like a town, and it doesn't look that big from the sky, and then literally nothing. That's crazy. It's scary. Yeah, 
It's a lot so of bodies crazy. out there in that desert. Oh my, it's tons, <laughs> tons, tons of bodies out there. Like I would be so afraid of like, like people that like cheat in casinos. Oh my god, like, no way! You're crazy. They'll they kill. Know. They'll kill you. Yeah. Put you in the fucking mountains. Yeah. No one's around. Yeah. Who well, gives a fuck? Like the desert. I've never seen the desert. I would love to see the desert. You once. don't. It's not. It's, cool. it's not cool. No. It's just like there's nothing here. It's just brown. Yeah. I feel like just to see it, like I would love to drive cross country. We've talked about that before. That would I be- would too. But like certain places, there's like cool desert. Like Vegas is not a cool desert in my opinion. It's just literal sand dunes. Yeah, yeah. Just nothing. Maybe like you know? Arizona is a cool desert. Or something. Right. Yeah, because I mean Arizona has the Grand Canyon, and then like Utah also. Arizona has- does have the Grand Canyon. Boom, know that now. South Dakota has Mount Rushmore. That's uh, is it South Dakota or North? It's South. It's one of the Dakotas. One of the Dakotas. Uh, but also Utah has like Zion, like that famous like campground or whatever. Yeah. It's like it's pretty. Yeah. But Vegas is just. Speaking of Utah, how do you feel about that whole Russell Westbrook uh, situation? Oh, so for people who don't know, Russell Westbrook. Uh, is a basketball player and a fan uh, was yelling at him and said, uh, get on your knees like you used to. Yeah. Which right? is kind of weird to say to any man that you don't know. Yeah. I mean, personally, I feel like that what happened. So the jazz ended up banning him from, for, for life. The fan. From the, yeah. From yeah. the fan. So he's not allowed to come to any sports games anymore. Cause in my opinion, that is clearly racist. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black and white here. Yeah. And, just the balls on someone to say that is just like is I think crazy. I think it's funny too, probably. Not only that, but it's like you're you only have those balls because you know that this guy, like you're protected by, because he has so much to lose. Yeah. Like yo, clearly Russell Westbrook, when he steps out onto that court, right, and like you suck is one thing. Right. But being like. Dude, Russell Westbrook can beat the shit out of everyone in that crowd. Yeah, he's a monster. Like, three at a time. Right. You know what I mean? Like, clearly. That would be like, because we're going to the Nick game on Sunday. Like, if, if you stood up and said to LeBron, like, Hey, LeBron, tell your son to suck my dick. Like, which I'm sure that's happened. Which it's like, yo, it's like... That's crossing the line, dude. Yeah! Like, yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm all No for- family members. I'm all on shitting on some, like, a player, though. Like I'll I'll be like yo you fucking suck. That's different, right? But I, and obviously I'm, he doesn't suck. But, but I'm just saying because my team sucks. See I don't, <laughs> I I'm I'm not a big fan of that. If they could hear me, no, no, like no, it's no. one thing to be like in the in the nosebleeds and being like oh this fucking guy man because yeah. you do that at home. But if I know they can hear me, like dude that's a person, right? You know like I'm not gonna. Have you ever that's had insane. have you ever had yelled like at an athlete? Of course, but not anything bad. Me and Jackie Bradley Jr. got into it pretty bad once. On the socks. On the socks. Uh, I was in right, I was in left field, like on those seats that are right by the foul pole. Yeah, I like Jackie Bradley Jr. Too. No, he was he, he was a nice. But I, I for some, we we were losing. And I was just fucking riding him. This is like the last time I talked to him, and he literally like looked at me, and like was like, "What'd you say?" Like said it to me. I was like, "Oh shit!" I didn't expect him to like respond. I was like, yo, whatever. Like, they dropped you in the lineup. Like, you suck. Like, you won't even be here, like, next year. And then he was like, why don't you just shut the fuck up? Like, he did, like, what Russ said. And I was like, oh, damn, this motherfucker just sunned me. <laughs> and I was just like, you know? Yeah. No, but I, I like, I've never, I don't think I've ever Shout out to Jackie it. Bradley Jr., though. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I like Jackie Bradley Yeah, no, he fucking sunned hey, me. Uh, um, but I don't think I've ever, the only thing I've ever said to anyone, I I went to a, a, a Knicks game with my friend Marco. We sat mad yeah. close, and I was like yelling shit, but like dumb shit, like for people. Like I was making fun of what's his name, Jordan Clarkson, for having like mad headbands. Right. This guy's got mad accessories. Right. I'm like, bro, you need a little more minutes. Well, you're you get all these accessories. You're, make, you're making a, a, an observation. You're not really going at him. No, yeah. Once you start attacking someone's like, like it's one thing. Character. If, if you go like oh for ten from three, this it's it's the garden, bro. Like we're gonna shit on you. Yeah. For not hitting your shots, but I'm not going to be like go back to Africa or some crazy <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. Get on your knees. Like those people should like we should just allow Russell Westbrook to be like, yo, he said that. All right, good, and then just beat the shit out of him. See, that's the thing. That's the one problem with basketball. The fans are way too close to the players. Yeah, they are way too close. Cause it, it's just weird. And then they had an old video surface where they're like Russell's dancing, and one jazz fan is like, yeah, dance, boy. 
And then Russell immediately is like, yo, don't call me boy. Like, you see it on film. It's mad weird. And yo. that guy deleted, like, all his racist tweets and shit. Yeah, but a lot of people got them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Scratch them. laughs> they, Ow! Yeah, I have they, one of them, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They went and got those. Yeah, but so those people should just get the shit kicked out of them. But all, if all you're... for fucking, you know, Ron Artest running to the crowd and fighting people. Wasn't that the craziest thing ever? Yeah, it was kind of awesome. Though. Guys, if you've never seen it, Google... Uh, Malice go to at YouTube, the Palace. Yeah, Malice at the Palace, and you will see what happens when a fan throws something at an athlete. Ron Artest and Ben Wallace... Got into like a scuffle under the rim, which is terrifying. Yeah, those are two men that just let them go. Behemoths. No one's getting in between <laughs> yeah. them. Especially Ben Wallace back then was like a back to back defensive player of the year or whatever. He was like John Cena. He would wear headbands on his yeah, arms. Yeah, he was gigantic. Terrifying. Uh, and Ron Artest laid down on like the scores table and someone threw a full beer at him. Yeah. So he just got up and ran to the crowd and started swinging at people. It was kind of awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Then there's that one dude who jumped out onto the court and, like, came at Steven Jackson, I think. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine O'Neal. And yeah. Then, and then someone... And then he rocked him. Yeah, if he didn't slip, he would have killed that guy. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that he guy hits the dead. guy so hard. You have to go see that. You have to go see that. But I just feel like this is, like, entitled people that sit close to the games think they could do shit like that because they yeah. pay a lot of money. Yeah. There's this weird affiliation with... Oh, I paid all this money, so this allows me to do these yeah. things. Like, hey, I pay for my seat, man. It's like, yeah, that's great. Don't be a fucking loser, though. Yeah. Like, I'm a, like, especially at baseball games, for whatever reason, I'm not even the biggest baseball fan in the world. But at baseball games, like, I'm loud. Like, I yeah. I cheer a lot at baseball games, but I don't. I never like. Attack well, baseball's players. boring. So you, you got I got so to do something. <laughs> but I but I don't attack players. Like I think that's crazy. I won't attack them personally, but like. I attacked, like, Jackie Bradley Jr. because, like, he was, like, hitting, like, shit at that time. <laughs> so I was, like, just getting on him, you know? Oh, I will say, there was a time where I heckled the shit out of this kid, this high school player, because Eric had a playoff game, and he was pitching. Okay. And he didn't have a good outing. Well, that's different, though. Yeah. That's riding for your boys. Yeah, and it was my high school, but I had graduated from it. So I came in there, and I was just heckling this kid bad. And, yo, I swear to God. Oh, you graduated already? Yeah, I was out. Oh, you're a douche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I went because my friend was pitching. It was the playoffs. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yo, come through, and we all went. And uh, this kid, he had, like, goggles on. So I kept calling him goggles the whole time. <laughs> and, you know, there was this and there was this one time. He kept throwing this curveball, right? And it was getting everyone. But... There was one time he threw it and like went past the catcher, so I was like, immediately this curveball sucks. Like I just went into that mode. Yeah. So I literally screamed as he's like checking for pitch, and I was like, "Yeah, throw that shitty fucking curveball again!" <laughs> and he threw it, and it went in the dirt. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was like, I got him. And like, yo, the, everyone I'm in his head. to the point where Eric told me he's like, "Yo, everyone on the team was like, yo, tell him to come back to the next round," because yeah. they ended up rallying and scoring like seven runs in like the seventh inning, and they ended up winning. Or yeah, shit. you could you could break it out a fucking high school kid easy. Yeah, which yeah. I feel bad about. Are you like yo? I used to have friends where their dads would come and be the most embarrassing people in the world. Dude, sports dads are rough. Like, imagine getting into a fight. Like at your kid's high school game with a parent. Yeah. What are you doing, dad? Yeah, it's wild. I don't know if I like it would be really hard for me to talk to my dad like after that. Yeah, thankfully my dad was never like that. My dad was usually like a coach or whatever, and if I was getting heckled, it's probably for a good reason. Cause he would be like, Yo, you're either gonna get heckled because you're really good and like you just can't let it get to you. Yeah. Or you suck. In that case, you earned the heckling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like <sighs> One time I got drilled on purpose playing baseball. I've gotten drilled mad times. On purpose. And I wasn't even good, but it was because my cousin fucking got kicked out of the game and I was the next guy up. Like, um, my cousin graduated a year late mm. and he was filthy at baseball. And they and they let him play. Like, he was allowed to play that year. So they were like, oh, it's like a ringer. Like, this kid's too old to be playing or whatever. But he was only he was only 18. He wasn't like 20. Yeah. So he was playing. They were heckling him, and they started going like, they're, like benches clear and shit like that. Like I'm ready to fucking go. Like I'm ready to fight. Cause I sucked. I was just on the bench, like ready to fucking fight. Though I was like, yo, it's my cousin. I'm just gonna fucking punch this dude and bounce. But he got kicked out of the game, so I had to pinch hit for somebody. They also got kicked out of the game, and they fucking drilled me. <laughs> I love it. So part of me was like, yo, I'm gonna start a fucking brawl here. Like I'm gonna run out there. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Is that your phone? That's my cell phone. Unbelievable. 
Who is it? I don't know. Some random number? Yeah. Fuck them. Anyway. But I think, like, heckling kids at high school games when you're in school is one of the most fun things you could do. Yeah, of course. Ride Dude, that fucking kid. When I was when I was playing baseball, first of all, when I was pl- when I was playing baseball growing yeah. up, like I was like Ray Ardonias. Like, just fucking, just fucking like a that. really good fielder couldn't hit. Yeah, at all. Like, I couldn't hit it either. I bat like two thirty. I'm being generous there too. Yeah. I know? couldn't I couldn't field or hit. But I was fast and I could field, so I'd play like center or I'd play third or some shit. I actually growing up was like a pitcher, like very illegally pitched. Like it pitched you like every game, every single game. Like my yeah. arm is probably shot because of that. Because like I pitched every game because I, I was like ahead of my time when I was younger, so I could throw really hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like no one could really like hit. I mean, I wasn't a fucking ace or anything, but I could throw really well. Um, and actually, one time I hit this kid in the face and broke his nose and his jaw, and I I cried on the mound. I was felt so bad. It's pretty fire though. No, it's not. The kid's fine now. I mean, I, yeah. I I found out like years later. I saw him at the fields again, and like we were at watching like my brother's game or something and i saw him and i was like oh hey and he's like yeah he's like yo you know you didn't only break my nose you also broke my jaw like i felt so Damn, bad dude it's fire you know, throwing cheese <laughs> <laughs> i don't think you have to throw that hard to break a nose and jaw though fuck yeah you do nah fuck. you get hit in the face with a baseball in the right spot you fucking yeah nah fuck that you know what i threw a thousand miles an yeah, hour fuck that day that. yeah kid got caught up with the heat get out of the way there actually was a time where i was pitching keith was the catcher and my brother Thomas was the umpire. That's fucking awesome. And, and my dad was the coach, no, probably. And there's no way that strike zone had to be huge. Yeah, right. My brother would, if anything, fuck me. He wouldn't help me out. Bastard. Yeah. What are you gonna do? My family is not those kind of people. No. No, it's the complete opposite. When I used to co- when I used to ref like rec league basketball, like there were kids like I babysat, and I would always like put them on the line. <laughs> Cause, really? Yeah, because they weren't good. Yeah, and like every it's time, like a foul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beep! I got him on the arm. He's like dribbling up the court. <laughs> I was like, two shots, two shots, two shots. We're not in the penalty. No, it's two shots, two shots. Bonus. Yeah. What? Eleven free throws. Technical fouls. No, yeah. but um, I feel like, would you ever coach your kid's team? I would love to coach a team. That'd be fun. Uh, have you ever coached a team ever? No. Oh, Yo, uh, yes, 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 and no. It's awesome. Yeah. It is awesome. I would love to do it. Um, I always felt like I was a better teacher than I was a player. Yeah. I was a pretty good player though. Right. Like at pretty much everything except baseball. <laughs> uh, growing up, but it's a hard sport. Yeah, it's a hard. Th- it's it's one of those things that like I was good when I was younger. Cause yeah. I, I that's like all I played. I that was the first sport I played was that in basketball, and I didn't get into football until I was like. 12, uh, thir- 11, 12. Yeah. You know, so I, my whole life I was good at baseball. I was a pitcher. I could field. I could hit. And then I just like didn't like it as much as uh, basketball and football. Yeah. So I just stopped playing. And it's not one of those games that you could stop playing like, oh, just like a bike. I'll get back in there. Yeah. It's over. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> yeah. What was, um, do you remember like bringing snacks to games? Baseball games? Any games. Like, yeah. a, like a Gatorade. I, I was the kid that always forgot to bring, like, a Gatorade or, like, a snack. A snack to a game? Yeah. You never eat, like, chips, like, on the bench or something? No. No? No. Baseball, dude. Sunflower seeds and oh, chips. Oh, crushed seeds. That's and for I, sure. I eat candy and shit, too. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. My dad was a hard ass, like, a, like a kind of coach, like... Never, no, I don't want that shit in the dugout. Well, I don't know. I just, like, was so honed in, like, on the game. Yeah, <laughs> My dad Kenny. My my dad was the coach of my basketball team and benched me because he said I wasn't good enough when I was clearly better than the kid who he started over me. But he thought that I wasn't hustling enough. I was like I can get more defense out of this kid, so I don't need you. Did you guys win or lose that game? So here's exactly what happened. I swear <laughs> to God, this is a true story. It was our first game. We were playing this team from Brooklyn. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but he benched me for like pretty much the whole game. Like I played maybe eight minutes, right? Wow. So. Well, what age are you? Eight minutes might be the whole game. No, no, no. We were, I think it was like eighth grade. All right. So, yeah. So, like, you're old enough to hoop. Yeah. So, I didn't So I didn't play a lot. So, um, and this is the first game. And he told me, because we did tryouts or whatever. And he's like, I'm benching you. And I was like, dude, are you kidding me? Like, I felt like I was like the third best player we had. Right. But he's like, he said I didn't hustle. So, I was like, all right. So, he was just, you know, teaching me a lesson. At the I en- guess. At the end of the game, we're down 
three point uh four uh wait yeah we're down four points okay right so he puts me into the game and there's like a minute left i get a shot on the elbow and i hit it so now we're down three no we're down two okay they go down and we stop them whatever we get the ball and like the shot clock is going down this kid gives me a pass i'm in the corner and i'm like falling out of bounds and i hit a three and we go up by one right. and there's like eight seconds left less than that right this kid who was on their team brolic and fast as shit yeah i hit that shit in the corner falling down Without hesitation, they inbounded you and gave no it to number, that kid. You got no numbers coming back. He just ran down the court, laid it up, and we lost. Damn. I sucks. was like, and then I wanted to like flip out on my dad and be like, hey, well, if you gave me some fucking minutes, yeah. I would have banged more threes out there. <laughs> Fuck you, dad. <laughs> so funny, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, uh, you want to hear something crazy, too? Yeah. So there was a time where Keith was on a, this baseball team. He was older than me, so he was playing in a different league than I was. Yeah, like a U15 or something, like an under-15 Yeah, league whatever or it was. And and he was a, a smaller kid on the team, and they had this, like, ace pitcher. And their head coach ended up getting thrown out. It was a championship game, I think. Their their pitcher ended up getting thrown out of the of – the, oh, no, their coach ended up getting thrown out. And they were down, like, five runs. And, like, their kids, you know, they're maybe 13 or 12 – and they're like losing their minds now because once you go down by five runs in one inning, it's like, oh, fuck the world, you know, whatever. Yeah. So my dad just like steps in as like an interim coach and just like coach them to victory. And like, he, and like they were, they had two outs and it wasn't like the bottom of the ninth or anything, but it was like the end of the game. It was like maybe the seventh. Right. And it was like two outs and I was like, all right, who's up? And it was <laughs> Keith, right? So Keith, Keith gets up to bat and, uh, you know, everyone's like, blah, blah, blah. And he walks. So he gets on base. Okay. And then my dad is like, you see if he's going to get on base? Like, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. And then he, he like, coached him back to, and they fucking ended up winning the game. See that fucking Bill Belichick? Uh, apparently. <laughs> so he gets everybody out Listen, there. Listen, my dad, he can give a speech. Yeah. The guy can talk his talk his ass off. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. That's it, though. What, what, was, <laughs> what was Keith's sport of choice? D- defense. Yo, Keith, in every sport we've ever played, he was the best defender we had. And our on our basketball team, that same team I'm talking to you about, Keith was on our team. And my dad, when he was the coach, would uh, we'd start the game and Keith be on the bench because he wasn't really good offensively. Right, like, you go offense really, for defense? He was like the fastest kid and the most like aggressive kid. Right. So we were like, all right, he wouldn't start. And then we, we'd start the game. And then like after a minute, my dad would call a timeout and be like, all right, Keith, guard that guy. Like you just put him on the best guy and he'd just be a fucking mosquito. It's just so annoying. Face guard him. Be annoying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. And he, yo, I couldn't tell you when we were super young, we ended up winning a championship with the psych teams. Like when you were like, uh, we were the 76ers, like yeah, yeah, not yeah, even yeah. like a school, just like the 76ers. Rec league type shit. Keith would steal the ball a hundred times a game, run down as fast as he could. Good. As fast as he could, <laughs> stop on a dime, and then everyone would go flying past him. He'd have a wide open shot right over the backboard. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Yo, you ever miss like a wide open? Yeah, I've missed so many wide open layups like on fast breaks. It's fucking insane. Yeah. It's one of the worst feelings ever, especially in high school. Your whole fucking school's there. Steal it out on the break. I would always try to do like something nice when I go to lay the ball up, spoon it or something. Spoon it is when you smack the backboard and lay it up. Or right. Something. But uh, I would always try to do that. Fucking miss, like get benched after that type of shit. The worst bit story I ever have is I was like 16, and one day my friend called me and was like, "Yo, somebody was supposed to pitch. Um, I'm trying to go through." He went through like his whole phone book. To like see if a friend would play. I was like, I'll play. I I don't think I'll pitch though. Like I'll play in the outfield or something. So I get there. They they make they end up making me pitch. So the first inning, strike the first guy out. Second guy, dr- little dribbler, and then the next guy I get out, pop him up. I'm like, holy shit! Like oh, I'm fucking good, dude. Yeah. Next inning, walk the first six batters. <laughs> I've done that. Yo, and I'm talking like walking them. Like yeah, yeah. Catcher can't even get it. It's hitting the fucking tin. <laughs> Four one counts. Oh my god, it was terrible. It was te- it was so bad that the umpire had to walk out to me and show me how to hold the baseball. That's how bad it was. <laughs> that's yeah. pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. 
There was a couple of times I've gotten hit in the face. Like I, one time, I got a game ball because I got hit in the face. I struck a batter out and then turned to the side, and the catcher threw it hit me right in the face. Jesus, hit me right in the mouth. I hit the hit the floor. Impy, when he used to catch for me, would throw curve balls back to the fucking mound all the time. Um, uh, but there was another time where I think I've told you this before, where I made like the play of my life. Oh, in like center field? No, no, no. I was in. Se- I was on second base. Okay. And someone hit a fucking liner down the first baseline. And our first baseman wasn't that good, so I went to go back him up. Oh, oh you were on defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I went to go back him up, and it rolled off his shoulder, and I just so happened to, like, just be on my way there. And I was like this, and I, like, reached back, like, literally, like, Odell's catch, and caught this ball and landed on the base and got the kid out. Everyone who was watching, other team, too, was cl- were clapping. Right. And I just get it, trying to be cool, like, throwing it around, and I'm just walking back to the to second base. Yeah. She's too dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too dead. I'm trying to look cool, walking back to second base. The kid who gets the ball on third – because wherever it yeah. was going, throws it at me. And I'm not looking. And it crushes me in the side of the head. And oh, I yeah. just laid on the ground. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, my God. And then I'm like, I couldn't play. They wouldn't let me play. They, they, went, around the, they went around the horn. Yeah, I know. I wasn't, lo- I wasn't looking, though. Why are you throwing it to me? <laughs> like, I made the coolest play ever. Let me, let me cool walk it back to my bag. <laughs> let me cool walk it back to my bag. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. It's going to be weird like when I have kids. Because it's like, I feel like... Like, I feel like parents, they do whatever they can, right? So, like, their kids can, like, get ahead, right? Okay. Okay? And, like, you you saw this thing with, like, Felicity Huffman and that shit where, like, they're paying, like, charitable donations, quote-unquote, for their kids to, like, get into, like, these prestigious schools. Yeah, she was paying money. This is against the law. Yes. This is fraud, by the way. Right. The FBI (laughs) stepped in. Yeah. This is a federal offense. (laughs) Paying for your kids to get into Ivy League schools. Now, do you think that it should be allowed if someone's saying to be uh, willing to be like, "Hey, listen, your tuition is X amount. I'm willing to pay Z amount, All right. and Z is double X." Do you think that that should be allowed? As two people that did not go to college, right? Yes. Uh, I don't. I want to say I don't give a shit. Right. But I also get it for someone who's like, I studied my whole life to get into Duke, and now this guy just paid his way into Duke? Yeah. I get it. Like, it, But I also feel like, you know, anywhere else in the world, that's the case. You could pay your way into anything. I even think it's the same thing here, though. What? You could pay, you could pay your way to get into anything here. I'm saying anywhere in the world. Yeah. Any, anything. If someone has more money than you... They will just pay to be yeah. ahead of you. Yeah. Like, they were paying, like, coaches and shit for, like, their kids to, like, be on teams, too. Like, now that's fucked up. Now you're taking, like, scholarships away from kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just so you could be on the fucking... One of them was, like, the rowing team. The yeah. tennis team. Oh, did you say it was, like, the sailing team? Yeah, the sailing team. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I didn't even know colleges had sailing teams. I had no idea either. How do you competitively... How do you competitively sail? I... You, you, you're racing boats yeah how yeah. wide is that i know <laughs> no my engine. boat's faster dude listen i'll give you fifteen thousand dollars right now if you let jeremy join the sailing team i'd be like lady your son's fucking nuts you know how bad someone has to want to sail i know for you to commit a federal crime <laughs> just so he could <laughs> sail you're not going to be a professional sailor i'm sorry all right? It's just it's Jack Sparrow, Magellan, and Christopher Columbus. That's it. That's it? No one else professionally sails. We have enough. We have, we've we had enough sailors. It's it's over. Yeah. Unless you want to drive one of those cruise ships. I don't know why you want to be on a sailing team that bad. I don't, I don't want to want to. In rowing? I don't get rowing either. I'm sorry. That is a rich person. I'm sorry, thing. rowers. Yeah, that's rich. That's rich white people. And stuff. they probably have like weird terms. Like, yeah, when I hit that second current, I was just like, you know, in the front of the boat, we were like really pulling hard. And then uh, Skyler behind me was really toking it. So like we were ready to go. We came upstream. We were just like, uh, we were able to pull it out tonight. I'm just like, this sport sucks. I just <laughs> Nobody wants to watch this shit. Do competitive sailing. I row crew. No, you row a boat. <laughs> okay. Don't tell me what Gently you... Gently down the stream. Yeah. Okay? And when you do it merrily. Merrily, merrily, All merrily, right? merrily. Life is but a dream. I don't want to see your fucking Yale crew sweatshirt, you fucking dork. 
<laughs> Listen, and also if if you're on if you're on a rowing team, I'm not gonna give a pass to sailing because I just I can't give that I can't get past the sailing. Sailing guys are kind of uh, real, row, rowing guys are kind of jacked. So here's the thing. I if, guess you give it that, if, but that's a stupid sport, and it, you're never gonna convince me that it's not. It's just it, you're rowing, you're rowing. Yeah. Uh, sailing, ha- you put the sail up, <laughs> <laughs> and then the boat just goes. What a, what else? Yeah, I just found better wind than those guys today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I came around the turn, caught the jet stream. Yeah. <laughs> You're sailing. Yeah, I caught a good pitch northeast, swung at starboard, and then uh, I was ready to, uh, you know, it was uh, all she wrote from there. So I want to thank God for wind. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? What do you do if there's no wind that day? I don't know. Fucking blow into it? <laughs> we have to cancel today's fucking sailing event due to no wind. <laughs> I think about that a lot, actually. Yeah. That's weird. It is weird. Like, imagine having a sailboat, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm going to sail to Florida. <laughs> and then, like, you get to, like, North Carolina, and, the, and then the world's just like, nah, no wind. <laughs> and you're like, all right, I'll just float then. <laughs> I'm keeping a fucking diary. Dear everyone, I haven't been able to sail because for some reason there's been no wind for <laughs> three days. <laughs> there's probably always wind now that I think about it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's some days in the summer where I'm like, there's no wind. I cannot wait for the sailing community to just <laughs> lose their minds over this episode. Well, if you really understood the inside of sailing, and I'm like, guess what? I don't care. Sailors are fucking athletes. Yeah, sure. Yikes. Right. That's a toughie. Gosh. That's a tough one. That's Yeah, you're not going to ever convince me that. I, I'm sure a, uh, there's a sailor out there that could, that could beat the shit out of me, but... If your parents paid for you to be on the sailing team on an Ivy League school, I'll die before you fuck me up. Yeah, word. like I will kill you. Yeah, <laughs> on that boat with, yeah. the, with the sail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, like, I just, I just don't get like how paid to be on the sailing team. Yeah, and it's like, God. it just doesn't set a good example for kids that are working hard, especially when it comes to sports. And yeah. you know what? I know that's fucking like bias because I played sports my whole life, but like. Sports is just something that you don't hand out anything. No. Like, you don't give participation trophies. That is horrible and fucking counterproductive. And you're ruining the children. And you don't put people out there because they are somebody. I stopped playing basketball. I I loved basketball. It was my favorite sport. It was all I played right. for a long time. And I went to my high school, that school specifically, because I would go to basketball camp there yeah. every year when I was like 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. And then I got there, and the freshman team, when I, when I tried out for them, I literally, the kid who I was guarding during the whole thing didn't get to touch the ball because I was just face guarding the shit out of him. Right. And I was scoring, and I was passing, and like playing so well. And I got cut, and a kid who was, and that's fine. Like, I don't mind getting cut from teams because if people who are just better than me, and most of those kids who were on the team were, yeah. I felt like these kids are nasty. Like, they're just good. Right. There was kids on that team, though, that only made it because they're like fathers or like alumni who do this. And like, clearly this kid is not good. Right. Like not even good at all. Even, yeah. And I, like, I, it just infuriated me. And then I, I played football. Yeah. But I think, I think college and high school athletics are very corrupt when it comes to shit like that. Yeah. It's all about like money and shit. It's scary. It's sc- it, it really is scary that you could get your kid into like an Ivy League school because one, you're famous, or two, you're a CEO of a company. You just have mad money. Yeah. Honestly, if I'm the FBI, I would arrest all those people except the woman who paid for her kid to be on the sailing team. I'd be like, you need a mental hospital. Yeah. Because this is fucking out of control here. I get soccer, not sailing. I just, yeah, yeah. I just, I just don't understand any of it, to be honest. <laughs> he just, wa- the kid just wants to sail. I know. Get them out on the ocean, then. Make yeah. them undeniably good at sailing. They don't have a club sail team. You got to go on the intramural like, sailing. Yeah, get your own <laughs> fucking boat and go sail whenever you want. <laughs> I liked volleyball. I played intramural volleyball in fucking Co- high fucking school. Competitive sailing. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's like a Red Bull event. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh, other thing. Um, did you see that fake? Well, quote unquote fake picture of Melania Trump. What? There's a picture going around of Melania Trump. And they're saying that it's an imposter, Melania. That it's not real. There's a fake first lady. That's what they're saying. I gotta look this. Yeah. Up. And you be the judge. You be the judge. I will say 
I think it's I think it's fake. I think she's a fake. Wait, you, but she's not a no. Melania Trump is a real oh, she person. has like a, a stunt double, a stunt double, a stand-in, a stand-in Trump. I just say that? I don't know. <laughs> it just came out of my mouth weird, but yeah, it's like a stand. It's a stand-in. Yo, that's not her, right? I, I, I I'm, I, I'm not trying to be funny. It's not her. I'm not trying to be funny either. I'm really not trying to play this up, but I will say. This woman has an old ass face. Yeah. And Melania Trump's is frozen in time because of surgery. Yeah. And she wouldn't step out looking like that. Yeah, no. Nah. She would she not. Wouldn't. She wouldn't. She would not be caught dead looking like that. I mean, yeah, that's not her. No. Which, like, she has like a body double. Yeah, she has an old face. Like, yeah. the chi- like the chin. Like, Melania's chin is just like cut out of. Like the, the marble, yeah. yeah, it's just ridiculous. It's like the side of an Italian mountain or some shit. <laughs> and this woman's face looks like it's been through a she's couple got, wars. She's got a little bit of that going. And she's got some some whatever this is over the, here. The, you know? the droopy some, mouth. It's some some. It's rocky. Yeah, it's rocky. Yeah, and uh, looks like a fucking heartbeat monitor. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, Melania doesn't have that shit. No, this is a fake first lady. Yeah. There's a fake. Why would you have a fake first lady? Because I have two theories. And she's like, oh, I'm sick. Just send the other me. I have two theories. One. It was that like she's like couldn't make the event. Right. Or she's dead. No, no, no. <laughs> Imagine Melania Trump's dead. And they just gave her like 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 fake fake one. Yeah. That'd be fucking scary. Yeah. That'd be awesome. But two. That she can't stand and they him and they got into a fight and she was like, I'm not going. That's kind of funny. And, the, and, hey. then, and then they were just like fucking brought the Bring other brought the other Melania out of the fucking got on the, Yeah, got, got on the phone with the dugout, like, yeah, uh, send her in. Yeah, send her in. Uh yeah, uh, we need M two. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> like if I was uh you know, a president, I would love to have a person who was me but not, you know? Yeah, even like you mean as the president. Like you were the president, you would even have like a clone president. Oh yeah! Oh hell yeah! Just be like, I don't feel like flying a career right now. Yeah, <laughs> just be like, it's like I'm good. Just send, go there and shake his hand. Send Joe too, please. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Would you say you're not even the president? Say like you're just like super duper famous. Okay. Like Bieber famous. Okay. Would you hire a body double to like keep paparazzi off you, and then you go somewhere else? That'd be cool. I think I would do that. That'd be awesome. I think that's probably been done. Yeah, I think so. Right? And I also, I know celebrities, like, disguise themselves and, like, go out. Like, remember Drake was on Ellen and he said that he went on a date to uh, Six Flags with Tyra Banks and they both, like, uh, made had disguises on. That's one that's cool and kind of weird. I know. I think that's a cool first date. A cool first date for famous people. Yeah. Would you do that like normally? Just be like, hey, listen, I got a crazy idea, but let's just do this. Uh, it's not going to go over well. You have to be famous to do that. Well, you have to have a reason to disguise yourself. Yeah, because you're famous. That's what I'm saying. But you I, can't just be like, <laughs> uh, yo, let's, let's wear disguises and go out. Just be like, why don't we just fucking go? Yeah, why don't we just go out? Yeah, can we do that? Yeah. What do you think's like a weird first date? Um, like, Like movies, obviously, like... I don't like going to the movies. It's not a good first date, but I'm just saying, like, it's something that you would do. Right. What would be a weird thing to do on a first date? I don't know. I feel like taking somebody, like, involving animals on the first day. What? That's, like, not like a zoo. What else involves animals? Like, horseback riding is a weird first date. What the fuck? Who does that? I'm just Probably sa- the sailing kid, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, the sailing kid. Like, that would be a weird first date. To go horseback riding. Right. I don't necessarily agree I, you think that would be cool i think yeah i honestly think as a first date the weirder it is the cooler it is like if you're just like oh let's grab a drink and like that's fine and that's, that's like not really standard. A, that's not really a date well i hear what you're saying but i, I understand what if you're you saying. get a drink at a booth that's true that's true you know that is kind of a date. isn't that weird how a booth turns it into a date if it's at the bar it's not really a date yeah my friend actually told me differently he'd see like i think it was pete he would rather be at the bar. Anything he says, I'm going to agree with. Yeah, so. me too. He's <laughs> just a smoke. But yeah. like, 
I think it's more intimate to be in a booth and like I'm looking at you and like there's a little candle here yeah. that may be real or fake. I don't know. Let me put my hand over it. I also <laughs> like to do the thing where I stick my finger in the wax and it, I pick it off too. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a great it's a great first date. Yeah. Also, um, Pete, you have an eleven inch dick, so well, <laughs> anywhere's a date for you, okay? <laughs> not much work <laughs> not much work you have to do, Pete. Oh my god. You just I, have to be around them. They just have to be in the vicinity of that dick. But <laughs> Um, no, I, I was going to say that, but I think I'd be in a booth is like, you know, it's a date. Yeah. I think a booth definitely becomes a date. I know someone who on first dates used to, uh, bring up streaking. Why? And not in like a sexual manner, just a sort of like a freeing, like, let's just do something crazy. Cause it's like a memorable thing, I guess. That's fucking weird. Dude. It was Greg. <laughs> It was Greg, who I do other people's lives with, another uh, show, which is great. Go check that out. I love Greg. OPL, great show. Weird thing. Weird thing. Yeah, he used to said he said it would work all the time. He said I wasn't even saying it to be like I'm gonna see this girl naked. He's like I'll run ahead of them. Like, he said it worked. Yeah, he said he's done it multiple times. And streaking for those who don't know, completely naked, running away. And I said, how far did you run? And he's like, well, I would run far enough that if someone saw me, like I wasn't near my shit, like I'd be naked. Yeah, I'm very rarely speechless on on the show. Just, I need to talk to him. Yeah, like as soon as possible. Well, I'm just, this is a real thing. I would never in my life consider doing that. I I think it's kind of cool. Have you ever gone pool hopping, like like skinny dipping, pool hopping in a stranger's pool? Yeah. No. You ever done that? I, no one has pool. I had a pool, but no one else has. Yeah, pool. Yeah, sure. There's no pools around here. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I would. We've done that. That's fun. Yeah, I've gone skinny dipping mad times, yeah. like in Connecticut. With Frankie and Whipping shit. It. Yeah. So, well, like, not so like, got... so here's the thing, right? There was, Hold up. There was a girl there. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. And she was like, oh, if you guys do it, I'll do And I was already naked in the water. Okay. Just all right. saying. <laughs> but here's one thing. In your group of guy friends, we both grew up with different groups of friends. This is going to get good. Hold on. Let me go get my laptop. Yeah, it's fine. So we both grew up with different groups of friends, obviously. Your friends you've had your whole life, my friends I've had my whole life. We never showed each other our dicks. <laughs> so we were never like friends. Hey, look at this dick. Yeah. Like, hey, what's up? Like, oh, look at my watch. It's my dick. Like, we would never do that. Right. Never were into it. Okay. Not dick people. Yeah. You guys <laughs> have all seen each other's dicks. Yeah. And like have no problem with it. No. What? Why is that? I don't know. Is it like where you grew up? No, I Are you just, guys just filthy out here? No, I just... <laughs> just dumping your dicks out for each other? We weren't dumping our dicks out. Like, I haven't seen someone's dick in a while. Actually, nah, I saw someone's... <laughs> one of our friends' dick. So one of our friends, I'm not going to say who it is, but one of our friends, uh, usually when we go on vacation, his dick's out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so like... I've, I heard about this. So that dick I saw recently. But all the other ones I haven't seen, and like, I actually haven't seen all of them. Wait a second, did it... Somebody's legendary penis come out. Oh yeah, so yeah. Oh, so I just saw two dicks on the last last one. Yeah, was it everything you thought it was? I'll be honest with you. Okay. I'm so fucking jealous. No, no, no. I missed it. Fuck! I missed it. One of us had to see it. It was a legendary dick that's been talked about for for years. And uh, it popped out for a second. Everyone saw it except me, and I was so mad. God damn it! I've been fighting for that. Yeah. Shit. But yeah, I don't know. I I've, I've literally I've known my friend since I was like in kindergarten and shit. So Yeah, so you're down to like dump that dick out. No, I'm not like down to dump my dick out. It's not like <laughs> we get drunk and we're like, "Dude, all right, dick time." And like, you know what I'm saying? Would you go skinny dipping with your friends? Just guy friends and well, not think that. it was insanely gay. Why well, did that? <laughs> No, I wouldn't do that. If we were like, let's go, guys. It's no, fun. no, no, no. It's not like that. All right. And it's never like, oh, we're all naked now. It's always just like one person like like running from the bathroom to here. Right. Like funny. Like, like, oh, his butt cheeks are out. Or being funny of like, oh, you guys. Like, you, like I remember one time we were in Miami for a different trip. 
And there was like the World Cup was on the TV. <laughs> it's a lot of dick in Miami with you guys. <laughs> well, we've been there like four or five times. Jesus Christ. But we, we were there and like there was something going on on the TV. And one of our friends was in the shower and I just walked out of the shower holding their dick and balls, like doing their best job, but like not really doing like all the job. Right. So they're just standing in the living room, like holding their dick and balls, and we're all watching TV. But it's never like, oh, yo, sword fight. All right, you know all what right. I'm saying? Like, it's not like that. What about this? Have you ever peed into a toilet with one of your friends at the same time? No, I have not done that. Okay. I've done that with, like, my brother when I was, like, super young. Yeah, that's, that's different. I'll yeah. do that with my brother now. I don't care. <laughs> like, you know? Like, yeah. your brother's dick is different. Well, we know that. Those dicks, yeah, yeah, it's different. Different than my dick, that's for sure. Let's just let's get to this ad before <laughs> we fucking move, we move forward. All right, before, penis. all right, before we do that, do you wish you had Keith's dick? Without question. <laughs> <laughs> Without question. He's so nonchalant about it too. Oh yeah, yeah he is. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> let's get into these sponsors. Let's get into these sponsors. Uh, I'm probably gonna get an email from this company being like, "Can you not do that?" But anyway, <laughs> uh, this episode is sponsored by sponsored 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 by Stitch Fix. Okay, Stitch Fix. Uh, it's basically like having a personal stylist. Okay, they reinvented how we find and buy clothes. Uh, all you have to do is go uh, answer some basic questions about your sizes, your favorite styles, and budget, right from your laptop, smartphone, what have you. Uh, and then your personal stylist kind of like hand selects five brand new clothing items just for you. Um, but the fee is only $20, which is waived if you keep all of the items that they pick out for you. And, um, your personal stylist uses only your preferences to pick clothes. So you're in complete control. Cause if, so if you're like, I don't like stripes, I don't like crazy patterns. I want just, uh, Whatever it is, I don't even know. Just like solid, a, yeah, solid, solid tees or whatever. Oh, John. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, check it out, Stitch Fix. Uh, I, I use them too. Like it's it's very easy. Like every month, because like, I'm not everyone's like Danny, where you find the time every eight minutes to go shopping somewhere. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's nice that monthly <laughs> you can put in like your shit, and I also like it because it's kind of like Christmas every month. That's true. It's like you put in your information. You're like, okay, I tell these people my sizes and what kind of what style wear jeans and like this and that um and then once a month a package arrives with like five five items and you're like oh that's an yeah, i went a little shopping a, that's an outfit yeah exactly um you can hurry to stitchfix.com uh slash uh basement sorry i almost fucked that up uh <laughs> stitchfix.com slash basement to get started now keep all five items in your box and you'll get 25 percent off your entire purchase Fire. That's huge. That is stitchfix.com slash basement. Stitchfix spelled S T I T C H F I X dot com slash basement. So there you go, folks. Very cool. Yeah. Is that a new sponsor? Have you done have you done that before? Uh, I've done Stitch Fix before. Yeah. I gotta check them out. Yeah, that's cool. I'll see. See if they can drink. I like down. just having like a package that just pops up. You're like, oh hey, I forgot about this. Love random packages. Love it. <laughs> anyway, back to these penises. Yeah, no, yeah. But no, um, I don't know why we we, we never were like I'm dick, not, dick dudes. Well, I'm not saying we're dick dudes. We're not dick. Dudes. You're dick dudes. We're not dick dudes. You're dick dudes. All right, let me name some friends. You tell me if you've seen their dick. Frankie, you seen his dick? Yeah. All right, Eric, you ever seen his dick? Well, not on purpose. All right, Marco, have you ever seen his dick? Actually, no. Okay, so that's one out. Pete, no. Or yes. Partial. Oh, you've seen his dick. Peripheral. Peripheral dick. So that that counts. I've you, seen you, peripheral dick. Yeah. You see, you've seen that dick. Sure. Dom, you've seen his dick. Uh, no. Davino's dick. Oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. See, I haven't seen that many. Ralph's dick. That is a true wish that I have. I need to see that. Actually, no. I've seen that. He too. I have seen that. Dick. Why's all all your friends got these monster dogs? They don't have monster dogs. Oh, oh. There's only there's. Three people that have monster dogs. I was about to say, no wonder you fucking see each other's dicks all the time. No, there's only three people that have monster dogs. Uh, actually, only two of them are monster. One's just like, that's a really good dick, dude. <laughs> but two of them are monsters. All right, so yeah, I can guess the two monsters. Yeah, and then the other one. Damn, who's is, the who's the mystery dick? So, uh, so the one. That, Wait, the, me... not the mystery dick is not really a mystery. It's the one that I see all the fucking time on vacation. Oh, okay, all right. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's got an impressive dick. It's not like. Whoa! No, you but know? an impressive dick. Like you would look at it and be like, okay, all right. It's like when guy in a gym is like lifting something like not crazy heavy, 
but he does something pretty good. You're like, oh, that was impressive. Look at that. Look at that. That was nice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good for you guys. Hey. You didn't yeah. answer my question if you've gone skinny dipping with just your guy friends. So No. I've never done that. She stutters. Well, because what I was going to say was the story with Frankie. Right. We were on a, we were, but it was in a big ass lake. It wasn't in a bucket. <laughs> this just doesn't matter. Well, of course it does. So if I'm telling you, if we all jump in something naked. Yeah. What's the distance that makes it a little meh? Listen, if we're in a pool and it's like, oh, naked dudes. And it's, it's like six of us. Hot just, tub is even worse. Yeah. Well, now we're talking about bacteria. Yeah. Because that lives in hot, hot. You know, yeah. temperatures. Yeah. You know. And if it's not gym related, if it's gym related, you could see that dick. What do you mean? Like, because you're supposed to get naked in the gym. Oh, I don't get naked in the gym. I don't either, but like, <coughs> technically. Well, well <coughs> you're right. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Penis is so really. much dick on, on the mind. Yeah. Ghost dick out of my mouth, I think. But, I think so. Yeah, but uh, I, I never get naked at the gym because I'm just a shy guy. I don't, I just. I think the gym's gross. Like, I don't even like taking my shoes off in there. Because I'm like, oh, people are just, like, yeah. sweating all over this place. I wash my hands, like, twice. Like, I wash my hands. Like, when I leave the gym and I go into the locker room and get my shit, I wash my hands. And then when I get home, I wash my hands again. Have you ever showered at the gym? Uh, No. I, I think, think so. I think that's like a like a commuter thing. Like if you go at like five yeah, in the morning, I you're would like, if I had to. Yeah. Like I, you know, I would do it, but I haven't. Yeah. But I did shower at the fucking um. What's that place called? Oh, the sauna place that I went to, the Turkish bathhouse. The Turkish bathhouse. Yeah, and that was a gross, gross shower. How so? Just because I know people are coming in and out of that thing, like numerous. It's in Manhattan, so. And it's in a basement. And it was like a jail shower. The word bathhouse always kind of has a bad connotation to it. Yeah, there's like, what, like dicks out, sex, gay stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which, you know, it's not my story to tell, but apparently that place has some stuff going on. And you Not re- when I went. I was about to say. No, no, no. It wasn't when I went. I was but like, this guy's seen a lot of dick. No, no, no. <laughs> I saw no <laughs> penis while I was there. Actually, that's why I saw a dick. Dead. Yeah. Impressive? Uh, it was definitely solid. I'll admire a good ram. You know what I'm saying? A good what? A ram? What's that? Penis. In what language? It's just a... Uh... Oh, it's one of your... No, it's not one of mine. Who? Okay. You ever saw... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'll admire a good peen peen for sure. A good peen peen? Yeah. I'll admire it from afar, from close. If it's a good dick, it's a good dick, bro. Uh, I just don't like when dicks surprise me. Yeah, I don't like surprising dick, but if the dick's out, I won't say it to you like, yo, you got a good dick. But like, I'll, like as soon as I get in the car, I'm like, that guy had an impressive dick. <laughs> this guy, you know, after <laughs> me, me and Greg went to the bathhouse. Just, just in my fucking rear view mirror. I'm like, yeah. that's a fucking pretty impressive guy. <laughs> Just get your arm over the shoulder back and up. God damn. So that penis? That guy's penis is pretty good, right? God. Yeah. But no, this guy, uh, after we got out of the bathhouse, I was like, wow, I'm about to get out of here without seeing a wiener. Right? <laughs> Spoke too soon, baby. Spoke way too soon. Jinxed it hard. Right? Well, not hard. It oh, wasn't okay. hard. Right. It was definitely flaccid, but I know my dick doesn't look like that flaccid, so. I, uh, I can only imagine. Right. <laughs> uh, no, but then the guy was also standing right at my locker and he was like Captain Morgan. Oh, he had a leg up and he was like washing his fucking thigh or whatever. Like yeah. getting the sweat off or the water off or whatever. And I just like, I'm like, Oh fuck. And I go over there and I was like, Hey man, can I get in there? You you talk to him while he was naked. What, what was I going to do? He's standing in front of my locker. No, nah, I would have waited. I would have waited. Nah, I was like, Hey man, can I get in there? And then oh. looking back, I, I should have been like, not in there, like in, in my locker. What's right? up? Can I get up in there? Or what's, what's up, man? On? You got room in there? Oh, jeez. Yeah, but that thing was just dangling. So th- this place casted a shadow, actually. I don't know if that was because of the, the the size or if it was because of just the light hitting it at a certain angle. Damn, that's fire. Definitely bro. was a shadow against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, I have a perfect segue. <laughs> Let's go from dicks to chips. Dicks and chips, Dicks man. and chips. And I have a gripe with this, okay? I don't Twitter, know. Instagram, social media, going crazy over a chip debate. Newsflash, we did this shit four months ago. Probably longer. Longer. 
We did it first, and I'm going to state that on the internet. Everyone could suck my peen peen. And you also lick my pink ass. Yeah. P- lick that pink ass. Is your ass pink? Oh, no. I like to say that. When's though. the last time you really looked at your butthole? Uh, so this isn't going to help my case with what we were just talking about, but I just, oh, my butthole. I haven't seen that in decades, but my ass I saw because, uh, you know, when we were in Miami, (laughs) we were in Miami this past, whatever Frankie was taking a shit. Right. I I was like, dude, I have to shower. Like, cause we're going to leave. So I just took a shower while he was shitting. Yeah. Damn. So that's jailhouse shit. Yeah. And like I was, well, he wasn't shitting. The, they're different things. No, but he... Look, it was glass. All, there was no, like... Uh, that's what I'm saying. There was no, like, curtain. But also, farting in a shower... Disgusting. Disgusting. It, it takes the the fart to, like, maximum fucking power. Yeah, it does. It's disgusting. It's like the Super Saiyan of farts. Yeah. It becomes like, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't take a shit. I couldn't, I couldn't take a shower while someone took a shit in there. Yeah. Yo, for some reason... Every time I would take a shower, my mom would always have to come and use the bathroom. We only had one bathroom. Yeah, we would do that all the time. Every time. Hey, uh, Danny, I got to come in there. So now I got to tiptoe naked to the door, open the door for you, tiptoe back into the shower, and listen to you go to the bathroom. Yeah. It's not pleasant. (laughs) You know? It's not pleasant. It's like, yo, how bad do you have to pee? Yeah. That you have to come in here and take a pee while I'm there. Yeah. And then you want to know another thing that's a myth? The flush in the toilet thing. Don't flush the toilet while while I'm in there. Oh, no, that helped. That that happened in our house. Not in my house. I think the piping was weird. No, when they would flush that toilet, it would get so hot. Oh, I thought it was always cold. Or maybe it was cold. Big difference. <laughs> but, <laughs> but also bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought that was a myth. No, no, no. Ours that happened with ours. Damn, that's, and you guys had one bathroom, seven people, right? Six. Six. Yeah, we had one bathroom, seven people. Fucking crazy. It's terrible. Yeah, but so they did this Frito Lay chip selection shit. Yeah. Okay. You're upset about it. I'm upset about it because we did it first, mm-hmm. and a couple episodes ago we were talking about whatever. I think maybe I think it was last week. Maybe we were talking about getting credit. Listen, yeah. chips are chips. I didn't expect to get credit for it, but. It's a little, it's a little weird that people are pointing out chips now. I mean, you know how I feel about it. I know it's very coincidental. Yes, a lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of the time. And I remember when you first started working here, I told you, I'm like, yo, believe it, look, because I showed you there was an example that happened. I'm like, you remember we took, like, I talked about this, and then it just, and I posted something about it, and then these three memes pop up out of nowhere on everyone's page and now they're popular people are tagging me in them yeah and i'm like where did this come from and then i look at the dates when they're posted and it's after i put out this thing and then you're like oh it must be a coincidence and then it just kept happening and you're like all right what the fuck yeah but anyway the chip thing what were the the chips it was cool ranch doritos nacho cheese so they're all uh lays i guess made i don't i don't know they come in that box so it's Lay's Potatoes Original, mm-hmm. Barbecue Lay's, Fritos, Cheetos Crunchy, uh, Red Doritos, Cool Ranch Doritos. Mm-hmm. And then you rank those? And then you rank those. Right. You want me to go first? If we don't have the same number one. Jump in. Cool Ranch Doritos. Is number one. Absolutely. Number two can go two ways. Nope. It can. Nope. It can. But I'm going to say it's, it's going to be barbecue lace. It is barbecue lace. Yeah, it's barbecue lace. It's Cool Ranch chips, Cool Ranch Doritos, barbecue lace from the bunch right. that we have here. I was going to say that the number two could be could sneak in there. The nacho cheese Doritos could sneak in there. but Maybe if I'm on a picnic. Right, and they're both there. Yeah. Yeah, and you do eat. You, know, you ever take chips and put it on a plate? Like at a yeah, picnic, yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Don't like that. It's like, oh, let's. You know let's what else do I don't like? When, see, did you put ice cream in bowls? I put ice. Uh, uh, it depends on it depended on what was clean, but I would put them in a mug sometimes, and I would put them in a bowl if the bowls were clean. Basically, what did I Here's prefer? I said, yeah, I preferred a mug because I could hold it. It drove me crazy <laughs> that like. 
people from other places were muggles. They were bowls. Yeah. Like they'd be like. And I have no problem with it going in a bowl. Yeah, but there's bowlers and there's mu- and, and, and muggers. And there's muggers. Bowlers and muggers. There's bo- bowlers and muggers. I'm a muggers. mugger. I'm a mugger. Super. Yeah. I will refuse a bowl almost. Yeah. Uh, that's not true. But there's people who are like, yo, I can I have some ice cream? I'm like, yeah. All right, where's your bowls? And it just, I just, uh, like, I want to hit them. And it also is like, forces you to eat a way more ice cream than you probably should. Yeah. You know, I like the mug. Were you one of those families that had an actual ice cream scooper? Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> we had that too. I loved it. My mom had multiple. First, she had this green one that was fire. Had That's like a dope. thing for your thumb. Yeah, you could, like, yeah. Really dig in. And press that button. It comes right off. Yeah. That was, oh, we had another one that was like <laughs> oh. silver, right? It was silver. Yeah, we had that one. And then like you, cr- you would press a button and then there was this thing that went over the, the bottom of it. It was like, shush. And it would cut the fucking... Uh, the ice cream out of the scooper. That's fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It had a slide piece that yes. was like, take, take it off. Ooh, I had that. I had that. like that. Yeah, yeah. Also, the worst thing is when you take ice cream out and it's way too frozen. I to would like, rather To be... even get your spoon in there that where you bend your bend spoon. Your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hated that. And then you got to bend it back on your mouth. Yep. Yeah. Why would we bend it back on our mouth? I don't know. <laughs> it's just literally like... <laughs> trying to get the spoon back to form. <laughs> You know what my what? mom used to Just buy? Just put it in your hands. You know what my mom used to buy? What? And she's a bitch for this. Fucking the sherbet fucking cake. It looked like a loaf of bread. It was just this orange thing. Thanks a lot, Ma. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is it? What is this bullshit? Where's the fucking... Yo, <laughs> vanilla, chocolate, cookie dough. I got a fucking orange bread. Yeah, that's disgusting. And we loved it. We were like dogs. You know how a dog, if it's like... Oh, you want like a little, and it could be cyanide, and they'd be like, "Yes," because yes. it's just you, you're framing it as a treat. That's basically what my mom did with this fucking orange bullshit, <laughs> you know? Because we'd be eating like she'd make us eat like peas and, that and cake, broccoli. That cake sucks, though. That cake sucks my anus. Yeah. You, did you like biscotti? Biscotti. Biscotti. I had one of those on the plane. They're so good. They're fine. Yo, dipping them in coffee. I don't fuck with coffee. No, but get like a like a chocolate milk then, and dip it in a hot chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm I'm big cracker in in a wet thing. I mean, it's like cracker a crack- and wet. I mean, it's like a cookie. I understand, oh, no, it's but like it's like crack. It's, what are you dipping crackers in water? No, nah, it's matter? soup. You dip a saltine in soup. Yeah, saltines are super good. I'm not a big soup guy though. Yeah, you're not. I don't think I, I I've known you for like a year or so now. We've been doing this. I think. I've never seen you eat soup. I don't like soup. I think it's bullshit. What's your favorite soup? If you had to pick one, I don't really believe in soup. I don't think it's a, a meal. You think it's like a poor? It's like it's a poor person's meal. That's like why. That's how like soup came to be. Soup is stupid. I hate soup. <laughs> I really don't like soup. It's just like I, I want to mix my water and, and and my my liquids and my solids. I don't want them all together. I just, you know, what about ramen? Yeah, ramen growing up. Oh no, no, that's a soup. Yeah, but you drain the soup water and just eat the nudes. No, I never really? ate the nudes. No. I don't like it. I think soup's bullshit. All right. Do you think Chef Boyardee is soup? Chef Boyardee is poison. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. It is. It is. <laughs> There's so much left red sauce after, and I always had to drink it. Why did I do that? I don't know. And it takes so long to come out of the bowl, too. It's like, just give me cancer. I just had, like, yeah, please. please. <laughs> I had Chef Boyardee maybe twice in my life. Yeah. My mom cooked a lot when we were younger. When we were like super young, she would cook dinner like every night. Why are you looking at me like that? Dude, Chef Boyardee is fire. Chef Boyardee is disgusting. Yo, it's fire, son. Yeah, but it's not better than homemade This raviolis. might be the first time I walk off the show. Are you, re- chef, chef are you really hating on the chef? No. I'm not hating on the chef. All right, sorry. I, I got oh, we're in agreement that it is poison. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. A lot of things are poison. I love them. Ice cream, poison. I mean, not poison. It's not, yo... It's probably like a little... See the grams of sugar in fucking ice cream? Sugar's great. Yeah, it is. Well, for you. Lucky fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I had a mojito in Miami. You would have died if you had it. It was so sure. There was a sugar cane shoved in it. Yeah. You would have had to bring me to the hospital. Yeah. That's how bad. My, You know when you eat something so sugary that your neck starts to like do like tingling? And you're like, okay. (laughs) That's what I was doing, man. I was like, I'm just trying to get drunk. Why I got to put this fucking... You ever sip alcohol that like makes your 
like feel like your throat's closing. Yes. Isn't that a weird feeling? Like I it'd took, be like, I took a shot at Knob Creek because I didn't know it was Knob Creek. Not supposed to take shots of that, and uh, my voice disappeared. Yeah. Like you feel like your voice is like I felt like my whole throat was just going like this. My throat like, looked like an anus. That's just fire. like. It kind of does look like an anus. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Right. <laughs> I tried not to laugh. I tried to walk through that. And I just couldn't. <laughs> What's wrong with me? No, it's nothing. This is a funny one. But uh, <laughs> I have to ask again. Yeah. When's- oh wait. Sorry. Wait. What were we gonna say? No, no, and then we'll and then you'll do. We'll I was finish. gonna go back to chips. Yeah, yeah. We'll finish the chip. What back. Were you gonna and say? Answer me this question as honestly as possible. I asked before and you didn't answer it. I hate this. When is the last time you physically looked at your asshole? My hole? Yeah. Like you like you spread your cheeks and wanted to see your asshole. I'm not very familiar with it, to be honest with you. I'm not very familiar with my anus. Uh answer the question. We're not friends. Uh I'd say <laughs> Yo, honestly, probably like like twenty ten. Like it's been a while. Damn. Since, yeah. It's been a while since you've seen your asshole. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just saying. How would you feel about today looking at your butthole? You want me to go look at my anus? Yeah. I wouldn't even know how to go about that. Do you just go stand in your mirror? And you spread your cheeks? And then do the look around? No, you look through your legs. Oh. Yeah. So you're Like pa- a bird? Yeah, you look past your dick and balls, and then you look into the reflection, and you see your butthole. I don't know why I said bird. <laughs> I don't know if birds do that. Me Actually, they, I, they do do that. They like, like they dip like, through? Yeah, they dip through. Yeah, I think. I mean. Would you be willing to look at your asshole now? You want me to go look at it right now? Yeah, go confront your asshole. <laughs> I'll go look. All right, go confront your asshole. All right, cool. We're going to pause this. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know yeah, how, yeah. how it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> so I definitely got a look of that ass. Uh, Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Hey, listen. What? Don't lie about your asshole. I would never lie on my asshole. Yeah, don't lie on your ass. No, I would never lie in my ass. All right, so what would you have? What do you mean? Like, well, like, 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 describe it a little bit. How, how's the hair situation? Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. My asshole is kind of like the eye of the storm. Okay. So around it is all right. Yeah. It is definitely out. Yeah. You know. Uh, How brown? It, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> What are we working with down there? Tell me what this are we are we like this? Is mahogany? No, no, no. So here's the thing. Is it a little cherry wood. So here's the thing, right? And I'm gonna try my best to stay off of WebMD. <laughs> <laughs> are you worried about your asshole now? <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> so it was like it's obviously your hole yeah. is like a little darker than the than your Yeah, cheeks. for sure. Cause it's it's going through b- uh, battles, dude. Yeah, it's a daily thing yeah. down there. Um and it looked like, and I don't know if it's because of the lighting in the room or like, <laughs> which is great lighting in there. Yeah, um, it there was a, there was a purple hint, oh, to like a darker purple, but I think it's because I'm a white. Yeah, yeah, know? I think that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, Ooh, a purpley brown ass. Yeah, yeah, good for real. Yeah, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought yeah. I I thought I was you know honestly I was I said a prayer beforehand because I was like <laughs> I don't want this to ruin my relationship. Did you with sp- myself. Did you spread your cheeks? To yeah. Did you do one hand or both? Oh, I both. Yeah, I did both. Too. I spread the. Sh- it. I almost hit the walls. Yeah, I, sp- I, sp- I spread both my cheeks. Yeah, I spread the <laughs> shit out of it. Uh, I will say though, um, one hundred percent, your asshole is cleaner than mine. You probably yeah. yeah. It looked very clean. You know, like like when they dropped napalm in Vietnam. Yeah. Like my butthole looked like the aftermath, like the soot. So yeah, and well, it's very dark. It's dark. There's some dirt. Yeah, and my dick, like uh, not my dick, my butthole was like, like it's like counter, it's like counterclockwise. Oh, like in Australia? Yeah, yeah. I have like an Australian <laughs> asshole. Yeah. Yo, I will say this too. While I was back there, and it was hard to ignore, but my balls, way bigger than I thought they were. Like, did you did you cra- trap them, or were they, or were they just hanging loose? Oh hanging no, I was letting them ha- yeah. trap them. Like, you know, because you could trap them between your legs, kind of. Oh, that's... Uh, that's wasn't, cheating. No, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. Um, No, but it looked like... I don't... They were just bigger than I thought. Yeah, that's good. So now you made two discoveries. You got a purple asshole and your balls are huge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I, you know, honestly, and I don't know if it's just because this is the angle that I get, so I really get the whole like, yeah, you know, you don't get the undercarriage, right? Yeah, but I, but then when you when you deep when you go down under, yeah, you see some stuff, yeah, right. Do you feel better, more in tune with your body now? No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't feel more in tune with yourself. No, I mean I saw my butthole. <laughs> so that's it. That's all I did. So not one part. Well, you saw, and then that you also made the realization that you do have bigger balls. Than I thought. Not saying that they're massive. I hear you. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. But a part of me, I could just be I having feel, a good ball day. I feel closer to my body now. Well, that's good for you. Because I, I did wash my hands after. Which is, you know, it's, it's not. This is a pretty bad sign. It's proper etiquette. I'm not going to spread my butt cheeks in your room and just walk out of there willy-nilly. Well, why did you wash your hands? Did you, like, spread your asshole? No, 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 no. I spread my butt cheeks, but I'm just saying... What's up? Nothing. It's just funny that I spread my butt cheeks in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your fucking asshole part, uh, like molecules are That's what I'm saying. Everywhere. My duty particles are everywhere. So that's why I was just like, yo, did like... Did you see any poop? No, 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 no. Oh. I took a shower this morning. Oh, okay, good. We recorded an episode last week. I didn't shower for almost a day and a half. Thank God this didn't come up then. It would have been worse. Yeah, that, yeah. I would have probably asked to see. I would. I think I would wax my asshole. All right. Taking if, a turn. If you paid, I'd wax my asshole. Why the fuck would I pay for that? Because I'm not. How I, did I get dragged into this? Because like I, you have more money than me, and I wouldn't want to waste money on waxing my asshole. Who would you even wax your asshole for? See, like, I would do it if there was a reason for Dude, it. Dude, imagine If I was what? going to Europe and shit, yeah, people yeah, were yeah, like, yeah. yo, you got to you gotta tan that hole. Because they tan their holes out there. No, they bleach their holes. No, in Europe, they tan their holes. They tan their assholes? Like, they're just nude beaches. Yeah. So they tan their holes yeah, you can't indirectly. Be, can't be purple out there. I can't be purple out in Europe. I got to get a nice tan. It has golden tint. Yeah, you can't be purple in Europe. Yeah. <laughs> can't, can't be doing that. You're absolutely right. So... Would you say that, and we're going to get right back to the chips after this, I promise, <laughs> um, that your butthole is on, is on the cleaner, like the, like the cleaner of men's, uh, like assholes? Yes, because I don't have a lot of ass hair. See, I don't have a lot of ass hair. I have crack hair. I don't have crack hair. Damn, dude. If I showed you my ass right now. Let me see it. No. All right. Take a picture later. If you think about it. No. All right. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of ass hair. But it is like... When you wipe your butt... Yeah. Imagine wiping your butt and there was just nothing there. What? Like, I like... If you waxed your butthole and wiped your oh, butt... Oh, yeah. It'd be a beautiful sensation. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It'd just be like waxing a new car. Yeah. you be like, ooh. But it growing back... It's like it's not like thick hair back there. I have like very thin. Yeah, Asian hair. Yeah, Asian butt hair. Like an old Asian stash. Yeah, like a Fu Manchu. Like a it's like it, it, but like my butthole has a beard. Right. Yeah, but you know, so uh, Cool Ranch Doritos, Nacho Cheese. No, 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 no. barbecue. Cool Ranch. Barbecue. Barbecue. And then how about Nacho the, Cheese? Nacho Cheese. Doritos. No, no, no. You no, no, no. I mean, uh, Cheetos. 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 Then the regular. And then. And then Fritos. Fritos. You want to take this one? Uh, I would rather eat a bag of shit. I was going to. I wasn't going to go that far, but I was going to say they are literally the worst chip of all time. Worst chip of all if time. If you consider that a chip, you're, you're a fucking Fritos stupid Fritos is disgusting. Person. It's disgusting. And honestly, that video that went viral, someone picked them as their number one. I'm worried about that guy. Yes. Why yes. would you take Fritos? Now. The Fritos barbecue twist. Anything with the word Frito on it can suck my anus. I agree with you. My I agree with you. Ass. But I do want you. I do want you to try one Frito. I'll try a Frito. That one. No, the the barbecue twist. The barbecue twist Fritos. Yeah. Uh, just, Get my purple asshole out of your fucking head. That's, I'm fucking trying, man. <laughs> I can't. It's not purple. It's not Barney purple. <laughs> That's how I'm saying. No, no, no. It's, it's not. It's not Barney purple. So it's your butthole like, dead? No. Like, you, what's you ever, wrong? You ever see like a sick old white man in a movie, and it's like, why is this guy kind of see through? And like, there's a little bit of purple hint. Damn, dude. Yeah. It's not like Thanos purple though. No, 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 no. 
But, you know. It's just a tent. It's just a tent. Suck my purple asshole. <laughs> yeah, but Fritos are definitely the worst chip of possibly all time. I'm going to have to agree. Yeah. And I that, hate that chip. And and that, that's something that I just am going to stand by. Fritos me, are disgusting. Me and my furry ass. I... I, I <laughs> Yo. Yo. Can we just realize that we stopped the show to go look at to our go assholes. look at our assholes and give them a Yelp review? I honestly, if you had to put a star rating on your asshole, where are you going? If you had to compare your asshole to a restaurant, yeah, like um, a, like a Yelp review. So my asshole would like if I had to compare my asshole to like a restaurant, it would definitely be like a mom and pop shop. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. It's it's not the worst place in the world, but the food's good. But like the walls could use some redoing. Right, and you know all the customers though, like firsthand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but it's like once something else, something better comes along, we're probably gonna get bought out. Yeah. But like you know, we're not fancy, but we got good food. Right. So that's kind of what I would say about my ass. And then what stars would you get? I would say probably out of five. I'd say I would get three point seven just based off of like. You know, reoccurring customers. The like, decor brings you down a little bit. Yeah, I don't have a whole. I don't have bright lights or anything. Yeah, I would be like one of those really good like restaurants, but like doesn't have an A rating in the window. It would be like a B. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody found something in there. Yeah. And it was enough to knock you down a full letter grade. You know what that means? But the food is still good. Right. But that means you have a good anus. But just from the looks of it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go in there on my first try because you gotta be. Yes. So like, I'm hesitant to even get in there because you got a little. Yeah. You know. It's a fixer upper. Yeah. 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 That's what for me. It's like, definitely, if you're gonna buy the space, you're gonna have to paint. Yes. You're gonna have to put money into it to flip it for right. sure. Exactly. <laughs> my asshole's a fixer upper. I don't know who let us do a podcast. I don't know. I it's don't know. I think so more bad. people should have butthole confidence, though. I'm all about butthole confidence going into 2019. Yeah? Yeah. Can you believe that it's almost fucking April? I cannot wait until it's nice out. I know, but it's going to be the fucking... It's going to be fucking Christmas again before we fucking know it. It's crazy. We still have the whole summer. Dude. And then, like, autumn, which is, like, a cool fucking season. Football will be back. Yeah. Playoff baseball. Yeah. What is going what on? Is, what, what is this? There's always something new going on here. Fucking ridiculous. I never have my ringer on. My phone rings. No one ever calls me. Yeah. The fucking guys are beeping all over the place out here. It's insane. You know, honestly, like, before we get off the subject, and I'm sorry... <laughs> I'm just. I'm yeah, so- these are these are discussions that matter. <laughs> these are the ones that people want to hear about. But, they want to get closer to us. Yeah, uh, it's not much closer than getting my anus. Like, basically, I did like a fucking palm reading of my asshole just now for you guys. Um, but anyway, what am I, chop liver over here? What? I went in the trenches with you. Yeah, I know. But that's what I'm saying. I said me. I meant we. Yeah, man, that's your. That's my asshole you're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, just saying, be respectful. <laughs> Now that we're talking about assholes, um, oh now, yeah. did you ever, yeah, did you ever uh, hear about people who like put gerbils in their ass and shit? I heard that Richard Gere did that once. The actor, Richard Gere, yeah. put a gerbil in his anus. Yeah, it was like a big rumor that like he put like a hamster up his butthole or something. And that's supposed to be like arousing. I guess it like tickles your your like your anus. I don't want my anus tickled. Is it your anus or your colon? How f- your colon's up your anus, I think right? The anus is just like what we see. Yeah. No. What's you know, the, that's like, you know how up. your asshole looks like a door on a spaceship that would open up like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it closes like that. It's that's really, kind of what it looks like. It's really like beautiful if you really think about the science of the asshole. Like, how, like no. it's a, like its abilities. Abilities to open and close and hold shit. Like, your butthole literally is holding like this, holding shit in there without you having to do it. If that muscle were to just be like, I don't feel like working today, poop and fall right out of your butt. Yeah, that's happened to me before. You've lost control of your butthole? Basically, yeah. Like, When did this happen? 
well, I, I had shit so bad that I held it until like my muscles got tired and was just like, oh yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. bench anymore. Yeah, and then S- squeaked out on you. Wasn't so much a squeak as it was a <laughs> absolute <laughs> fucking loud bang. <laughs> <laughs> What were you gonna say? What were you gonna say? I'm sorry. No, I just wanted to mention the gerbil thing because oh, it just yeah, like yeah, popped yeah. into my head when we were talking about it. Because like, I'm like I said, I'm not on good terms with my anus. Right. Uh. So I would have thought you got closer to your anus. Well, probably now we can have a conversation, but I, yeah. I would never put a, a hamster in it. Nor do I think I could fit a hamster in my anus. Oh, you'd be surprised. I would be shocked. Is that weird? Can you be normal and like shit like that? The definition of weird. Can you actually look up the actual definition of weird? No. I don't have my phone. Whatever. Whatever. We know what it means. Oh, ask Google. Hey, Google. What is the definition of weird? Here's the definition of weird. Suggesting something supernatural. So there's something supernatural about you putting a fucking hamster in your asshole. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, like, and I don't think that's a functioning... I don't think, like, if you're into weird shit... Ah, I don't know. Because I always had... I have this theory also that everyone's into some weird shit sexually, but yeah, they never say it. Absolutely. You know? Hmm. Where they're like... I'm sorry? Where they're just, like, weird stuff. Where they're like, I like to, like, spread my ass and, like, rub it on the carpet. But you won't say that to anyone. When I was... Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm going to confess this. Oh, my God. When I was a kid, um, no, was, you have to th- go ahead. Tell yeah, us. I, I, I'm, no, I'm he- just, no hesitation. I gotta say it. This is gonna haunt me, but I knew that someone in my family would expose me for this at some point, so I'm gonna beat them to it. When I was a child, instead of using toilet paper, I would wipe my butt on the floor. Like a dog? Like a dog. How would you wipe your butt on the floor? I would I would sit on the floor. And, dra- and drag your ass. And drag my ass on the floor. After you took a shit. Yeah. And who was cleaning that up? I don't know. This is 100% true. I cannot believe I'm saying this. Danny, you dragged your boy ass. Yeah. On the... F- on the on the ground. Yeah, I did. And left a shit trail? Yep. Like a slug? Yeah. And what did people say? Who's tracking mud in here? Oh, my mother was furious. And how long was this going on? I don't know how long it's it stemmed for. Should I call her? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to call your mom right now yeah. and say, how long was I shitting on the ground for? No, I didn't shit on the ground. Was there at least carpeting, or was it hardwood floor? Oh, we were going on tile, baby. See, I wouldn't even... How would that even... Oh, I can't believe this is happening. I hope she answers. I hope she fucking answers, too. Because I need answers. If anything, Mike is a good backup. Mike would know? Yeah. So this isn't this isn't a secret. This is No. Like a... this, is, this was well known throughout the family. I was, you know... If there's poop on the floor, someone's going to find it. How old are you? Like four or five. It's way too old to be... I agree. Sliding shit everywhere. Mom. Please leave your message. Call, call Mike. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't wait until Mike says this. Uh, see, I'm, I'm, I'm not a liar. I am not a liar. One second. I'm trying to find his phone number. Type his name in. I'm trying, but I've just revealed something huge to the world. You're typing a bunch of shit. What are you, what are you doing? A I, Da Vinci code? I said type his name, so I typed his name. Someone needs to pick up. Yeah. I need to know about Dad's that. Dad's next. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What up? What's up? You're on the basement yard right now. Oh, am I? Yeah. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 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 I had I I revealed something to the audience today that I used to be a butt dragger. Butt dragger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butt dragger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, really weird phase. 
Uh, do you know how long that lasted? How long were your butt tracks, or how long did you do it? Well, both, both, both. both. Uh, I'm pretty sure one was almost like three feet once. I'm not even kidding. Three uh, feet of shit? <laughs> how wet was no, that poop? I, no, no, I'd say like I'd say like maybe a foot, maybe a foot. I'm not gonna. You know those guys that lay down the lines on like uh, on like the street, the, the yellow, like the yellow uh, through the double lines. Yeah, That's yeah. basically what Danny was, but he just did it with his butt. Wait, um, and he? How long was he doing this? Uh, all right, so I would say that he did this. It wasn't. It didn't last that long. He had like a, it was like when he was. What would you say, Danny? Like five? Yeah, four or five. Yeah, or yesterday. <laughs> uh, no, but he did it. He did it like I would say it was like maybe a half a year. He didn't do it that long. Yeah. That yeah six long. months is so long <laughs> to be dragging your ass. I didn't like the way I didn't like the way toilet paper felt on my ass. But you, you and he also tile? took he, he also took shit to the kitty litter and acted like it was the cat. No, he like, didn't. I did. I did. Dude, you're a mad shitter. Yeah, I was. At that age, I was big in the shit. I'm telling you. An absolute, uh, absolute shit madman. Yeah. Wait, you shit and tried to blame your cat, you psycho? I didn't try to blame my cat. I shit in there, and somebody asked me if I shit in there. I said it was either me or the cat. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is such a ridiculous answer. To I was five. Dude, all, all I know is that I was ten. I didn't know that, or, or ten. I was a seven, and even even I knew. I was like, that ain't no cat shit. <laughs> I also, I also did, I also did pee on Jared's face. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Yeah, Yo, you're a psycho. Yeah, I was just, I, I went through a poop phase. Yeah, Danny went through a, a really strange. Danny just didn't give a shit. That was his problem. Oh, I gave a shit. I gave him yeah. just everywhere else. Yeah, he, he gave him to the floor. <laughs> he gave him to the tile. Out of control. I just used to see my cat walking through the hallway like, nah, that cat didn't do that. <laughs> hey, listen, you got to cover your tracks somehow. But yeah, no, they, uh, I didn't, I, I didn't uh, you know, I didn't want people to think I was bullshitting. No, uh, no pun intended. Uh, well, to be fair, to, to like not make Danny seem like the only fucked up one, I, I peed in the tub once and and, and Danny slipped on it and cracked his chin on a soap holder. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is also true. <laughs> so, uh, shit track short, our whole our whole family fucked up. Yeah. Uh, so, what you're trying to say is there was piss and shit all over the ground. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of piss and shit in the priori household. I'll tell you that. Dude, me and Danny are basically like monkeys. We just chat yeah. through. It was like Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so... I was shitting. I was shitting. I wasn't shitting you. Yeah, no. That's I love you guys. What do you do? What do you do? Are you are you live right now, or what are you doing? We're yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're live. We're recording the show. We'll all fix right, this yeah. in post, though. We'll probably edit all this out. <laughs> no, we won't. We're keeping all of it. <laughs> I don't think it's that weird. You wipe your have, ass on the floor. Who cares? Me. Well, no, nah, I don't do it now. I was five. That's fine. Everyone's Honestly, got weird shit. I mean, I mean, it is fair to say that it's like I was this age, but I've also, I've also, I feel like I can, if, if we went around and asked other five-year-old kids, which would be weird, but if we went around asking five, other five-year-old kids, hey, do you rub your 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 asshole on the ground to wipe your butt when there's no paper? They would probably say no, and then say they do something else weird. But when you're five, you're like, what else can I do? What's acceptable? What's not? You know? Yeah. I worked with what I had, and what I had was a floor. But I feel like we'd also meet a lot of kids that would go, hell no, you're disgusting, get out of my face. Yeah. yeah I probably. feel like that would be the majority. Yeah. But yeah. All right. We, we, we just right. we needed a myth buster, so mom didn't answer, so. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm here whenever you guys do a lifeline. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll give you a shout. All right. All right. I love you guys. All right, See I love you too. Peace. Bye. Yeah, man. This is the most disgusting episode we've ever done. Yeah, right? probably. We're getting flagged. Probably, yeah. yeah. They're not going to monetize this one, but it's fine. What do we even title this? I don't even know. Strange Life of Poop. That's not going to be the What's title. the weirdest thing you did as a kid? I don't know. You're putting me on the spot. I wish I had some time to think about it, but I'm sure I did something. Right. Kids do weird things. I guess. One time. <laughs> <laughs> one time I remember sitting on the couch and like opening my pee hole. I swear to God, I remember opening my pee hole like that and just like looking in my dick. Yeah. 
Like just be like, what's going on in there? You know. One time I I made I, my pee hole. You were talking with it. I was talking with it. I've talked with my dick too. <laughs> See, you didn't want to say it. I had to say it. No, I've talked with my pee hole. I was like, doo, 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 doo. Yeah. made him sing and shit. Yeah, I didn't make him sing. <laughs> I made him sing. We had conversations, but I would open. I was. I remember because I was like a baby. I don't know why this sticks out in my head, but I was a baby. You were like, not a baby and had fully control of your hands to open your penis hole. You were four or five. No, I I don't know, but I I was I was opening I, my I look pee at four hole. or five year olds. They're small children. But I was wearing like shorts, but I had like I thought I was being slick. Yeah. And my sister saw me, <laughs> and she like said something to my mom. You know, Joey's playing with his penis, <laughs> like upset because I'm over here trying to like make Donald Duck noises with my fucking dick hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we are strange human yo, beings. Yeah, we are, dude. Yeah, we are. I we never are. did any poop stuff though. I think six months was a little long. I think my parents were better parents than that. I think they put a stop to that a little quicker, but yeah, I would have beat the for, hell out of you for here. dramatic value. Oh, I got some. I got some. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wipe shit on the floor and get away with it scot free. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You don't get away with that. No, you, I'll tell you that. No siree. No siree. There were some spankings because of that. Yeah, rightfully so. Yeah, rightfully so. Yeah, I never got spanked for you know opening up my pee hole, but yeah, it's a smaller crime why are kids so weird we're trying it out dude i see my dick it's like a thing i'm like what is this thing and then i open it but what possessed I, like i think about it what possessed me <laughs> what possessed me in my mind for me to go you know what this makes sense have you ever done this wait you're not circumcised right no yeah i'm not so yo i've done this before where i've rolled my dick <laughs> <laughs> like the skin yeah and just like rolled it up until it's all the way like now. Now it looks like I'm not, uh, uncut. Yeah. Yeah. And I just like roll it as far as it can go into my like skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of my dick. Yeah. Have you ever done that? I've done that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I've rolled my cock up. Yeah. It's, it's not. Cool. It kind of feels cool. Not so. Yeah. It does and then feel you see cool. it like unravel, kind of. Yeah, and you're like, whoa. It, it takes forever to unravel. <laughs> oh like my penis is unraveling, dude. And it's just like, but it's not so much rolling as no. it's just pushing it. It's just coming out. Pushing it and then rolling the skin forward. It's like reverse putting on a condom. Yeah. So when you guys are uncircumcised, you guys still have some skin left over there? Yeah, it's just not like a, it does, it's not like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's There's, not turtlenecking. No, no, no. I could roll, di- I could roll skin over the top yeah. of my dick if I wanted to. Yeah. That's fire. I mean, <laughs> it's not like fire. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do it if I was like... Damn, dude, you got a cleaner right. asshole and a cleaner dick? It's just trash, yo. Uh, you tell me. Yours is brown, mine is purple. I don't know if... That's we true. Get... Yeah, we might have to go to the doctor after this. Yeah. Let's just say I'm going to have a great week of th- therapy next week. <laughs> you got a lot to yeah. tell the guys. Yeah. Like, listen, sit down. Have a glass of water. We got a long fucking <laughs> session this time. I used to wipe my ass. On the floor. On what the does floor. that mean, doctor? I don't know. You know, I always wanted to tell that story on this sh- on this show. I feel I feel relieved. You're liberated. Uh, liberated for sure. Well, I talked about how I wiped my ass with a random umbrella. umbrella yeah. So like, I, I have nothing to hide. At this I trust point. my floor over an umbrella for sure. Same, for but, sure. But an know. estranged uh, umbrella. Yeah, it's okay. We yeah. both made it. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm hanging on. I'm hanging on. If I get a fever now, I'm gonna get real scared. No, you'll be fine. <laughs> Oh god This is probably The most ridiculous episode We've ever done Probably And I feel like We've always said it And it started out so nice We were talking about sports It was sports. fine We were talking about sports We were talking about college Being weird It was a Trojan horse And then now we're in And then the fucking war started Hey I think this. The, you gotta have a mixture of both Gotta have a mixture of both Alright And listen To my fellow butt wipers out there Don't be afraid You could come out You could say what you used to do because guess what i'm here for you was that your motivational speech no that's my speech should be like hopefully someone out there else has done that so that's why all right i was Um, was five whatever let's give some uh shout outs here to some people uh just uh it's our patrons here um patrons yes our patreon if you're supporting the show we appreciate it uh you get every episode a week in advance uh, you get an extra episode that is only for the for our patrons 
through Patreon on there that's on video. Yep. And also some Q and A stuff that me and Danny put out from time to time. Yep. Um, so let's just give a shout out to certain people here. We have Dom, uh, I Devaya. Can't I fuck de- that up. Yep. Uh, Mary Rose Di Piero, Jalen Hernandez, uh, Sarah Cadman, Ashley Marie, Sean Ford, Nancy Martinez, Jennifer Brown, Daniel Gerardo, Haley Silvernail, mm. Rachel Wolf. What? Uh, <laughs> Foam Dad. Foam Dad. Cassidy Reasoner. Chris St. John. Chris St. John? Uh, Alex Peters. Rachel Lutcher. Uh, Grant Gottfried. Uh, who else we got? Who else we got? Hold on. It's loading. Oh, my God. Matt. Uh, Alec Hegman. Uh, Samantha Dennis. Brenna Kay. Uh, Christian Rivera. Megan Lux. Thank you to all everyone, too. I'll be giving some shout outs Word. periodically. But thank you to everyone who's supporting us uh, via Patreon. It's helping us. In ways you cannot even imagine. Yes. Um, what are we at now? I'm very close to my raise. Yeah. Uh, by the time this comes out, I might even have my raise. But let's see. We are at, ooh, 1,343. Right. Once we get to 1,500, Danny will get a raise. Yes. So he thinks. Or a new butthole at this point. I think I'd need it before you. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Anyway, Danny, where can they find you? You can find me uh, wiping my butt on, uh, uh, at Danny LaPriori on Instagram and Twitter. Guys, go follow me on social media at Joe Santagato and go follow uh, The Basement Yard on Instagram at The Basement Yard. And our Patreon uh, is P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash The Basement Yard. Go check that out. Uh, and thank you. But We'll holes. see you next time. <laughs>